Welcome back, it's Melanie, your Shishet Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Let's Party collection from Close to My Heart. I, this collection is still available in February, but this will be the last month that it is available. Um, I actually had bought the scrapbooking workshop and so I am piecing together a layout using what I have left of the scrapbooking workshop or I still have some, um, stuff left even after this layout, but again, just kind of piecing together my own layout um, using the scrapbooking workshop. I contemplated not even putting this up on my channel. For me, I feel like it's uh, a little bit more simple maybe than I am used to, but I have it recorded and maybe thought maybe you guys could actually help and see if there's anything you think I should add to it. Um, it just seemed together to come together so quickly um, that I kind of was like, oh, I don't know if I should add more or if it's good the way it is. So I did have one scrap piece of paper that yay, um, I believe that's the color bluebird is that blue and it wasn't a full 12 inches across the page. And so I ended up cutting it into um, pieces and making it look like it goes all the way across the page. So I have one four by six photo and then two, two, four by four photos. And so I made sure that, uh, when I backed that middle four by six photo, I backed it kind of wide enough that it would cover up the white space in between my layout. If that make or yeah, in the middle of the layout. I had these two branding strips that were scalloped, which I absolutely loved. That was on the sticker sheet. Uh, so I used those for a couple of strips across the page as well. Like I said, I have very minimal, I guess, things left. It looks like I have a bunch on the sticker sheet, but nothing that I really, I guess, was excited to use. I don't know. So I decided to kind of make dovetail both ends of this um, kind of confetti paper for the top and add a cluster up there. I did go into my stash and find these um, this red number. This is his fifth birthday and I wanted to put that somewhere on the page. And so I kind of had to decide how I wanted to, where I wanted to put that. And I thought up at the top was perfect. So I layered some stars underneath of the five and added that. Um, but then, I don't know, looking at the sticker sheet, I just kind of struggled. I wanted an embellishment cluster to the top right there where I'm adding it right now, but I didn't feel like I had enough or big enough pieces maybe um, for that cluster. So it does say it's my birthday, that's a tab, and then I had a star there, but I didn't have very many other stars or larger stars um, to use to kind of accompany that uh, bluebird star. So here I am adding the pink star. That is the next biggest that I had and then added just a teeny tiny red star just to make it a cluster of three. Um, and then kind of just figuring out which sticker I wanted to use for my title. And I decided to use this uh, flag sticker here. I did have to pop it up on some foam tape because I did pop that photo up on foam tape as well. Um, and so just to have it even, I had to pop that up. And then I went into the acrylic pieces that came with the um, scrapbooking workshop. You can purchase more of the acrylic pieces. Um, if you purchase the acrylic pieces, sorry, by itself, you do get more in the pack than what you see there. I've already used it and the in the scrapbooking workshop, you get less. Um, but I pieced together the party hat and layered that behind the um, flag at the bottom and then added a yay sticker um, down there. And really, that is about it. I wanted something larger up above um, to the right, um, that cluster up there. I don't know. Anybody have any ideas? I might have star dies in my stash or in my collection that I could cut out some dies. I do have like that black and white paper. Um, so 
there is one more thing that I do add to this. Under the five, there was a um, sticker. It looks, it's green and it looks like, it's almost like ripped washi tape almost. And so I do actually layer the five on top of that and add that. Um, but I think that is going to finish off this layout again, kind of more simple than I'm used to. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know and I will see if I can add something to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.